again with uh, stretch and yoga. Today we're going to take it easy though, we're just going to do some upper body stretches and then lower body stretches. So we'll split it up into two different sections. Uh, I'm expecting it to take about 15 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, join along if you want. Let's get cracking. So, first one is going to be a reach over stretch. So you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. You can either have your arm down by your side, you can have it on your side, either way, okay? So what we're going to do is, with the right arm, lean over as far as you can, and then we're just going to hold it for 10. And once you've got to 10, there we go, slowly back up, and again we're going to go to the other side, opposite side. So. Reach over, uh, hold that stretch for 10. Eight, nine, 10, and back to the center. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do every exercise once, but at home you can do it two times, three times, however you like, okay? But make sure you're always holding it for 10 seconds, okay? Next stretch, again, shoulder width apart, arms, right arm across the body, left arm up, just uh, in line with your elbow. And just pull it across. You should feel the stretch in your tricep and in your, your latissimus dorsi. So again, we're gonna hold for 10. And then swap over, again, arm across your body, other arm facing upwards, and just hold that for 10. Ten, brilliant, awesome. Right, now this one is called a warrior. Let me show you side on. So, you put one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, Kneel down, and you're just going to put your arms up. This is a warrior stretch. So again, just going to hold for 10. And slowly up. And again, with this one, you can always put your knee on, on the floor as well, and lean back, but make sure where it's, that knee's bent at the front at a 90 degree and you're slightly leaning forward. But you can go on your knee as well, just to make it a bit easier. But for the purpose of this, I'm gonna go on the knee. So, bend up, hold for 10. We're gonna feel the stretch on this one. Perfect, uh, that's 10. And when you do 10, slowly come up, all right? Warrior stretch. Next one is a downwards dog. Now, this one sounds a bit strange, but let me show you side on. So, feet shoulder width apart, slightly bent leg, and you're literally just going to lean forward and look down. Now, this stretch is predominantly stretching on your calves and your lower back. Okay? So, downwards dog. I'm going to take me. Uh, Glasses off for this one. And that's it, just lean forward. I'm just gonna tuck your head under and look to the floor. And again, hold for 10. Perfect. Just really feel it in the back of the calves. And slowly, slowly come back up. Sorted. Next one. You can actually see now. Next one, just uh, head, head rotations, head tilts. So, standing straight up, and you're just gonna look to the left for me. Hold for turn. And then slowly rotate you. Neck round and to the other side. 
and hold for 10. Perfect, then back to center. Right, next one is a head tilt. So again, we're just gonna tilt our head to the side. Try and get your ear to, to shoulder best you can. Straight back, so you're working on posture. Cool, when we get to 10, slowly back up. And to the other side. Again, trying to get your ear to shoulder with your posture as well, up straight. Brilliant. Ooh. Ooh, back to centre. Perfect. Right, now the next one is quite a difficult one, but follow me. It is a back reach. So, you're going to be laying on your front. Let me explain it first. You're going to be laying on your front and you're going to be chest up, but you're going to have your arms behind your bum and you're almost going to stretch out backwards and lift your chest up at the same time. So let me show you. So on your chest, like we did the other week with your geckos, you're just going to place your arm behind your back and stretch out and chest up. Okay, so let's try that. So from this position, arms behind your bottom, almost interlink your arms, stretch back and lift up, toes on the floor. Hold this for 10. Perfect. Slowly round and back up. Cool. Right, the next one is fairly similar. This one's called a cobra. So, like we did the other week, your body, in essence, is going to be extended like this, okay? And you want your chest up, legs straight, curvature of the spine, so you push your chest up. Again, let me show you. So you're laying on your mat, feet just shy of shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna lift, press up with the chest. And again, you're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. You'll feel this in your lower back, Nine, ten, and slowly down so that we can get back up. Cool, so that's the top half. We've stretched out the top half. Now it's for the bottom half. Hips, legs. Pardon me. Right, if you've got a drink, have a drink to hand. Perfect, right. Lunge, so again, with this, you can go to the floor on your knee, one leg forward and lean forward, or you can have your knee just off the ground and lunge forward. So for this one, it's going to be legs shoulder width apart, lean forward and hold. Try and put your arms out to help you balance, or you can put your arms in. Hold for 10. And then slowly up. And then again, swapping over. One opposite leg. And then we're going to hold in a lunge position. Ten. Brilliant. Slowly up. And then we're going to do, so this one's quite a difficult one, calves. heel press. So what we're doing is a bit like the downwards dog. You have your, your right foot up like this and your left foot's just going to rest. Now with that right foot just try and get your heel to the floor 
as best you can. So you're up, up, up on a bit of a pivot and then you're just resting back, like so. You should feel it in the back of the right calf. Hold that for 10. Three of the swap. So again, heel just off the floor, balance the other ankle onto the other ankle and just try and slowly touch the floor with the back of your heel. Hold the chair and slowly up. Brilliant, perfect. Right. This next one is a quad stretch. Now, with a quad stretch, you can either do it standing up, you can do it standing up touching a wall, or you can have like this and balance with it. He says balance. Hold it like so. Okay? But for the purpose of this, I'm going to stand and hold my leg. Okay, so quad. Quad hold. Let's go. So, like a flamingo, hold your leg back, count to ten. Yeah. Perfect. Slow down. And again, swapping legs. So just hold that. Ten. When you get to ten, slowly down. Perfect. Well done, guys. Now, I went running at the weekend, so my calves are on fire as it is. Let me just have a quick drink if you've got one. Oh, pardon me. Right. Kneel reach. Now we did this the other day. So you want to come down onto the mat with your feet just underneath your bottom. Take your knees facing outwards and what we're going to do is come down slowly and you're going to reach forward and just sit back on your, on your feet. Okay? As far back as you can, reach forward. And we're going to hold for 10 again. Here we go. Hold that position. Eight, nine, ten, and slow. Ooh, nice one. Cool. Next one, leg raises. Now, let me do it on a side angle so that you can see. So, with this one, it's not too technical, it's nice and easy. All I'd say is, on your side, hold your body weight up, knees bent, let's break on the floor. Pardon me. And then all we're gonna do is lift our leg up on the side. Now, you can do it as high as you like, as low as you like, depends what sort of ability you're at. But yeah, right, we're gonna hold for 10. So up and hold. Hold for as long as you can, guys. Good for stability. This is. And slowly down when you've done that. Cool. Let's swap it to the other side. Again, hold your body weight, knee bend, and lift the leg. One, two, eight, nine, ten, slowly down. Slowly down. I should feel it in the hips. Woo. Right. Getting that face forward again. Perfect. Cool. So just having a quick drink. So, with 
this one, you're gonna lying leg stretch. So you should feel it in your hamstrings and your calf, this one. So this one, we're gonna reach forward, and if you can, hold your toes forward, chest up, and hold for 10. Now if you can't do this, you can just grab onto your ankles or reach out in front, okay? I'm gonna touch my toes. Cool. And again, hold that for 10. Perfect, and release. Marshall, slowly up, guys. Don't want to injure yourselves. And the last one. Woohoo! Let's have a little shelf quick drink. This one is a fire hydrant stretch. So again, come on, on onto all fours. And with your right knee, you're just gonna come up at a 90 degree angle and hold. So again, we're gonna hold for 10. slowly down. So in essence, from a knee position, you're just lift, lifting your knee up as so outwards. And again, hold for 10. And slowly down. Cool. Now, I've only repeated this once. However, at home, you can repeat it three times, how many times you like. It's good for stability, and overall flexibility. Okay, so that was stretching upper body and lower body with Josh. Stay tuned for more content. Cheers guys, see you soon.